Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> oh. Okay, six, seven, okay, I'm at the level for exposure now. Right, everyone. So uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing a full graded exposure with spiders uh, to show you how it's done. Um, at times I'm going to be trying to focus on the spider so I won't be talking as much because that counts as distraction. So I'm going to be really trying to push into the flow, um, let the anxiety overcome me, and then just sit with the sensation. Okay, let's see how good this goes. Okay. Hopefully you can see that too. Um, right, okay. So I don't think it's quite worked out where my hands are, but I'll put them where they are on the table. And we already know what the game is about. I'm going to try from the video footage. I could see that by moving my head a lot is making it very kind of sickly. So I'm going to go really slow and try to help you a little bit. So as you can see down here, more spiders, less spiders. We're going to go with more spiders. So before this, we would have um, started a hierarchy of our steps. This has already created a hierarchy and uh, we're going to be going through those steps with it. But remember, your hierarchy might be very different. So you might have a very different um, level for your first one. So it might just be a picture, okay? So go at your own pace. I'm actually absolutely okay with that. Um, and don't come straight in if you've got real, um, real phobia, because this is probably a bit too high, to be honest. You might want to start with a picture. Right, okay, I'm okay with this, so I'm gonna um, try and get this up. Okay, so you could use this just with a normal VR set, you don't need the uh, the Oculus um, set, because you're not using the hands, you're not using the hands so yet. Okay, I am actually doing okay with that. Last time I felt a little bit anxious when I was looking at those. Um, not sure why it's much better now, but that feels okay. Make sure my hands feel like they're in the same place. Would have been better if I had set it up on the table, so I think you can do that. Um, but here, unfortunately, it is a little bit off. Right, okay, I'm okay with this step. Anxiety level about one, two, I'm a bit not happy with that but not loads um, I think I was on here for a good 20 minutes last time so um, I have I guess I have exposed a little bit to this level I'm a bit worried about what's going to come up next hmm what are they going to do now okay okay yeah I'm anxious now probably about four, five out of ten, which isn't really enough to do exposure. Oh no, okay, it's going up, as it's going close to my finger, I went up to about five or six. It's the fact that it could come onto my finger at any, any moment that's making me anxious. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, six, seven, okay, I'm at the level for exposure now. So I have to keep engaged. So it's without distraction, it's prolonged, so I'm staying here. My anxiety's gone right up. Oh, that one's, I'm not liking that one. That one's giving me a good six, seven out of 10 because it's on my arm in the VR. I didn't like when that one moved quickly. Okay. Okay. They haven't moved in a while, so as you can see, a still spider close to you is one level, a moving spider is another because they keep stopping, which is lowering my heart rate, but then they move and it goes back up.
See, that one's facing away now, looking the other direction, so it's not actually worrying me as much. This one I've got, I'm getting more used to. So remember, the idea is that the anxiety peaks at the very start, um, and then it slowly comes down over kind of 30, 40 minutes. The problem is, is they're not coming towards me, so this might spike again in a minute. It's because it's not predictable, we can't predict how it's going to act, but that is what a spider does. So I guess this is showing a little bit how graded exposure is actually quite hard. Because you can't always predict that they're going to stay on one level. Um, this has created this level, but I think uh, whether these decide to turn around and run at me or whether they, they stay where they are is very different to how I react and what level it feels like for me. It's gone away now, you see. So graded exposure is um, where you stay with the same stimulus for a prolonged period of time, but this stimulus has changed. They're both looking away and they've moved away, which has considerably lowered my anxiety. I almost want to refresh this one because I don't think, because they're now they're miles away from me, looking away, which isn't keeping the exposure going. It's still very good, don't get me wrong, but um, I almost need them to be doing the same kind of thing. I need them very close to me. This one's turning slowly, they might come back to me. Yeah, that one's looking like it's changing direction. Yeah, come on, come back to me. I don't want to go up to the next step, so I think it's where they're on me. But this one looks like he's coming a bit close. This one looks like he's going to move forward, because they seem to turn a little bit in, and then go forward a little bit. So If you had arachnophobia, you, you probably wouldn't be, this would definitely be nowhere near your first step, so do be careful if you do have the phobia. As you see, I'm just keeping my eyes on them and letting my, almost kind of falling into the fear. I'm not trying to distract myself. I'm not trying to make sure I can keep my hands on the table. To be honest, I did want that one to stay closer. Right, I haven't stayed 30, 40 minutes, but my heart, my anxiety has probably come down to a rating of about two. Um, like I said, it did go up to six. You want it to be kind of going up to the six and sevens and then slowly coming down. Unfortunately, as much as I think there has been a bit of exposure here, because they've all turned around and gone the other way, I'm a little less scared. I also secretly know they're not real. Um, but that doesn't seem to... Remember, some of this is visual memory, so it doesn't matter. Your logical mind isn't going to win just by no, just by thinking that it's not real. So. There's also no sense sensation in my hand, so that's going to probably make a difference. Okay, it looks like he's coming this way. This might raise my anxiety here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, anxiety's gone back up to four, five. I'm okay. Oh, remember I'm protected though. If that could come onto my arm, I'd be terrible. Oh, I think I might push it a little bit. 
They didn't even start off with small spiders. That could have been a step. Okay, well, actually my anxiety is staying quite low, even though it's very close. Seem a little bit more brittle than scary as I'm getting more into it. I'm still scared, I'm still a bit anxious, but I don't think it seems a bit more brittle than, than the danger they, they were before. And the mouth even looks more like an ant than a spider as I stare at it more. And these are the kind of changes and updating you want. That first image is always going to be terrifying until it breaks down from a fear image. Oh, that was kind of touching me a bit. That's okay. I'm okay. Not distracting myself, just experiencing. Okay, I think my anxiety is low enough actually. Probably about three, four. That's okay now, I'm not worried about that anymore. By the way, do check out my video on where phobias come from. Uh, that, that explains all the different routes to how you get a phobia in the first place. Might be something to have a look into. Okay, I'm feeling very calm right now. I've come right back down. Anxiety is reduced. Not so worried anymore. I don't like it. it. Doesn't look very nice. I know it's going to charge me again because it's been programmed that way. Um, but I'm, I'm okay. Right. Right. Yep. Completely come back down now. That one, I don't even know what that one's doing. That's not exposure, but this one definitely is. Right, guys. That's the first one. Uh, if you want to see me go up to the next step, please just let me know. Any comments about kind of what I'm doing or anything you want to know for your own exposure, or just let me know what your exposure is underneath. I'm happy to help you uh, break it down or give you any more information about where they come from or, or how, to, how to break them down like what I'm doing here. Uh, any hints or tips so often like i said it's quite hard keeping the step the same with this one they're not programmed really to stay near me uh, which is taking away the fear of that one and this one went off for a while um but actually uh, i think I, I was quite ready for this level um i'm ready for the next level um and then actually what i'm going to try and do after after this series is to just go pick up a real spider so um, do stick with me and uh, follow um, my channel if you want to see me go through this journey um, and yeah that's it for today uh, thank you little spider one thank you little spider two uh, it's been um, I'm not gonna say fun or nice but uh, yeah I'm actually okay with you both now um, right okay well till next time uh, all the best and uh, I'll see you see you soon